Cars one of me and Coltrane will battle out the Gold Cup. Coltrane coming back for more on the inside. Cars one of me though, under Frank, he's just proving the stronger on the run for the line. And Cars one of me! For the Queen's Vars with a mile and three quarters ahead of them. Chess piece in the raw blue, ridden forward with a short run into the first turn. And Frankie goes handy aboard Gregory, the red cap, applies a bit of pressure for the early lead with the Grey St George on the inner and Etna Rosso in the blue and white rounding out the leading quartet as they swing right handed. Circle of Fire with the scarlet sleeves just sits a couple of lengths off the pace in turn followed out wide by Adrianus as they begin the steady downhill run towards Swindy Bottom. Think first in an orange jacket settles towards midfield, had to be briefly checked back off heels, and then peaking Opera Run more in the dark blue, racing ahead of Sumo Sam in the yellow and blue. A further length and a half to Steven Siegel in a white jacket, a similar margin away to St Vincent's Garden in the dark blue and white, who races on the inner of Batemans Bay. Uh, Nürburgring in the dark green and white, meanwhile disputes last place with Undawi. Might just spot the orange star on the cap for uh, David Prober. They've completed half a mile in the Queen's Vars, and Frankie He's got to the rail and got to the front aboard Gregory, but he's closely accompanied by Andrea Adzani aboard Hadrianus. They race now two lengths clear to Etna Rosso, the white cap, disputing third place with Chess Piece, who in turn is slipstreamed by the Grey St George, and alongside he circle of fire. And then think first in orange jacket, upsides peaking opera as they approach halfway. Steven Siegel in the white races on the outer of Sumo Sam. St Vincent's Garden is further back in the field with Batemans Bay as they now begin the steady ascent towards the final three quarters of a mile and Darwi and Nürburgring continue towards the rear end of the field. So Frankie controlling the fractions here as they head towards the six marker. Still Hadrianus in the black and white is a close second. Chess piece under James Doyle in the raw blue against the running rail tracking the leading pair. Then Eitner Rosso to the grey St George. Peaking opera, no move yet. Dark blue jacket for uh, Ryan Moore about four, maybe five lengths off the lead as they head towards the last four and a half furlongs on the home turn in the Queen's Vars. Gregory Hadriana still the leading duo to chess piece Edna Rosso, then St George Circle of Fire, followed through by Think First Peking Opera Stephen Siegel is next, Batemans Bay in a light blue jacket out wide to Sumo Sam, then and Darwi St Vincent's Garden and Nürburgring Ringwood with the last one into the straight as they pass the three on the crown of the bend and it's Gregory in front, Frankie now just beginning to nudge away, Hadriana has turned on in in second. Chess piece in the raw blue looking for a way through. Away to the right, circle of fire with the scarlet sleeves asked for his effort. Then Etna Rosso, the Grey St George up the inner. They've got a furlong and a half to go. And it's still Frankie in front on Gregory. St George the Grey though is coming out after him. Back in third, chess piece and then circle of fire. 150 yards to go. Frankie driving away on Gregory. Still pestering St George. Gregory finding plenty under the to Tory Drive, Frankie's farewell at Royal Ascot, and it's winner number 78 at the Royal Meeting for the Italian. Gregory beats St George, close for third between Chesapeake's Circle of Fire. Set, and they're off for the Gold Cup. Two and a half miles, and through the very early stages, Subjectivist in the bright green jacket is one of the first ones to show, together with Emily Dickinson in the dark blue, and over toward the running rail, that is Lone Eagle, who also has a prominent role early. They're being followed through by Broom towards the outside in the grey and white check. The dark blue sleeves and cap with the noseband is Cold Train. Against the running rail in the red is Wise Eagle. Then the nosebanded head of Nate the Great. To his inside is the mare, Echoes in Rain. Another length away to Eldar Eldorov in the yellow and black stripes. Courage Monami is towards the inside of Eldar Eldorov. Second to last is Big Call and sitting chilly at the back of the field is Yabir, fully 10 to 12 lengths behind the leader. And that leader is the winner from two years ago, Subjectivist, who shows the way up the home straight the first time and leads by a length and a half to Lone Eagle, who's racing in second. Then Emily Dickinson back in third, Broom is in fourth, Wise Eagle next to the inside of Coltrane. Echoes in rain, the green and red silks, together with Nate the Great, the orange cab. Courage Monami is racing alongside Eldar Eldorov. Big call is second to last in Yubir as the bat marker, and they have a circuit to go in the Gold Cup. They're being led by Subjectivist. 
He leads by two lengths to Lone Eagle Racing in second. They've developed a bit of a gap on the others now, probably about four lengths in to Emily Dickinson, who's racing back in third. Broom is in fourth as they begin to head down the side of the course. Wise Eagle is behind Broom and racing back in fifth place. Coltrane is next. Behind Coltrane is Echoes in Rain, then Nate the Great and Eldar Eldarov, followed by Courage Mon Ami. Big Call is second to last and Yabir is still the bat marker. Inside the final mile and three furlongs and it's subjectivist. He goes along out in front. He leads by the best part of two and a half lengths to Lone Eagle, who's racing in second. Emily Dickinson, she's back in third. Then came Broom in fourth from Wise Eagle. Only a half a length that away to Coltrane. Behind Coltrane to the inside echoes in rain. Then Nate the Great and Courage Mon Ami from Eldar Eldaroff and Big Call is still second to last year. Beer is the bat marker. Right over on the far side of the track, they're about to go inside the final nine furlongs. And it's Subjectivist who still gallops along out in front. He leads the way from Lone Eagle in second. Emily Dickinson in a share for third with stable companion Broom. Then came Wise Eagle racing to the inside of Coltrane. Those are the next two. Echoes in rain still pitched up against the inside running rail in front of Nate the Great, Courage Mon Ami and Eldar Eldarov. Big call still at the back there with Yabir as they now begin to head towards the final three parts of a mile. And as they do so, it is Subjectivist who still has the front running roll in front by a good two and a half half lengths at this stage to Lone Eagle in second. Emily Dickinson is back in third. Then a further one length away to Broom in fourth. Wise Eagle is handily positioned in fifth. Behind Wise Eagle then is Cole Train. Behind Cole Train is Courage Mon Ami. And then came Nate the Great and Eldar Eldarov. He's trying to make some ground now. Echoes in rain towards the inside of him. And then Courage Mon Ami. Big call and no move yet from Yabir. The field begin to stack up as they make their way inside the final half a mile. Subjectivist with Lone Eagle very much on his quarters now to the outside. Pushed along in third is Emily Dickinson. Coltrane is in fourth now. Nate the Great's under pressure. Wise Eagle is losing ground and they're about to turn towards home and it's Lone Eagle who's come through to pick it up under Ross Ryan. Subjectivist now under pressure. Coltrane with a nosepad. Every chance and Emily Dickinson echoes in raining the green trying to get going. Courage Mon Ami is also staying on looking to angle between rivals as Coltrane has now gone on from Lone Eagle. Here comes Frankie on Courage Mon Ami though, building up a big looking effort. They go inside the last now. Courage Mon Ami draws on turns with Coltrane. Courage Mon Ami and Coltrane will battle out the Gold Cup. Coltrane coming back for more on the inside. Courage Mon Ami though, under Frankie, just proving the stronger on the run for the line. And Courage Mon Ami under Frankie has won the Gold Cup. From Coltrane, then Subjectivist and Emily Dickinson clear from Nate the Great. Then Yabir echoes in rain and Eldar Eldarov. And they're off in the Albany Stakes of 2023. A good start made by Pretty Crystal. Matrika over on the far side, the near side, passionately with Persian Dream. And most of them going towards the far side. Flachinello is fairly handy. Do it with Stahl is in behind with Carla's Way. The orange and black on the inside of that is Gushing Gold. They are then followed by Porter Fortuna. The pink armlets on the black sleeves, tracked by Comat and Orange Cap and the red hat of Mapmaker. Towards the near side, shaken along is Sarah Khan. A soprano is in the center, the light blue colors. Persian Dreamer, Jabara is following those. They head down towards halfway. Dawn Charger is very, very prominent indeed. They're now running down towards the two. Dawn Charger, Matrika, Carla's Wager shifting slightly to the right. Navassa Island, the extreme left, looking to come into contention. Porter Fortuna making some ground as the field now have a furlong and a half to go in the Albany. Matrika is sent on here from Dawn Charger, then Porter Fortuna, Carla's Way with work to do. Persian Dreamer, Jabara on the near side, Porter Fortuna and Frankie finishing very strongly and getting to Matrika. And Porter Fortuna has taken over here, half a furlong to go. Frankie in front, Matrika is rallying. It's 80 winners and counting a Royal Ascot for Frankie. Porter Fortuna wins the Albany. They're off. The straight mile ahead of them for the Sandringham Stakes. Rich, Polly, Pot, Novus and Jackie O in a pink jacket get out well towards the near side with Schwarz here in the yellow also showing speed. Uh, towards the near side, Novus is now tracking the leaders with in behind Coppice the pink cap and then Copy Artist and Mabel Artiste in the black and white unless in the maroon and blue and Candle of Hope with the scarlet sleeves tracks them towards the stand side. The right-hand group as they head towards the end of the 
third furlong over on the far side the left hand group being led by Faniska with the white cap right up amongst them over there is youngest in a yellow jacket and then Bella Fina with Chelsea Green second from the right in that group and further right to Clown Macken Eximius and Zoe Innocent are also in that group with Bridestones and Celsa Bela and Magical Sunset as they go through halfway in the Sandringham so two distinct groups far side group left hand group just have a narrow advantage but out on the right Polly Pot in the pale colours is moving up with Schwarzia Novus Rich in a red jacket is bang there with Mabel Artiste Candle of Hope is still in the leading line in behind Jackie O Pink with a blue cap Frankie the pink cap trying to find a way through on Coppice as they move down inside the last quarter mile so Coppice now finding a bit of daylight has come bursting through on the stand side to take over from Candle of Hope Breeze in a green jacket is also picking up down the stand side it's Frankie in front inside the furlong on Coppice Breeze green jacket challenging hard Balalaika is also running on Frankie nudging away Coppice in front Frankie on fire on his farewell Coppice wins the Sandringham from Breeze and Balalaika followed home by unless and they were a little way clear of Candle of Hope and uh, they're off for the Kipco British Champions Long Distance Cup, a Maxident is ridden forward the outside of the field in the purple jacket. Kiprios is handy under Ryan Moore on the outside, the all-blue of Trawlerman on the running rail, followed by Coltrane, then Broom. Trushan ridden with a bit more restraint today than last time in France. And then on the inside, Sweet William and Stratum is the early back marker as they race in front of the stands with a circuit to go. Looks a pretty decent gallop being set by Max Accident, tracked in second by Trawlerman in the hands of Frankie de Tori. In third, Kiprios and Ryan Moore, Coltrane and O'Shea Murphy on the outside of Broom and Dylan Brown at McMonagall. Turning right-handed now. Sweet William, Rab Havlin further back on the inside of Trushan and Holly Doyle. And lastly, it's Stratum and champion jockey William Buick. There'll be a good 15 lengths first to last and, and Maxident is building up a lead now as they pass the mile and a half point from the finish. Maxident by a good seven or eight lengths to Trawlerman in second place. This could be a real test. Back in six, uh, in third place, six lengths away is Kiprios, followed by Coltrane, then Broom and Trushan. Well back at this stage, Sweet William likewise, and finally Stratum. Heading past the mile and a quarter point from the finish, and Maxident still remains clear. Trawlerman, the only one within challenging range at the moment. Kiprios is third. Little shake of the reins there from Ryan Moore. Followed back in the field then by Coltrane on the inside. Broom, Trushan still restrained. Sweet William, and finally right out the back is Stratum, and now they're into Swinley Bottom. Swinging right-handed and on towards the final seven furlongs. Maxiden, Trawlerman, about four or five lengths down in second. The others are well back. Kiprios in third place as they now begin the climb back towards the home straight inside the seven. After Kiprios is Coltrane, followed by Broom, then Trushan. And Sweet William and Stratum. So racing uphill looks like Trawlman could be left in front here as Maxident begins to just weaken a little bit in front. On their way towards the final six furlongs, Trawlman right on the shoulder now of Maxident. And there are a good 12 lengths clear, passing the five. And Frankie strikes the front on Trawlman. It's Trawlman that goes on. Maxident beginning to feel it. Now, what have the others got to left in the locker? And how can Trawlman keep up the gallop? It's been a fierce clip all the way. Trawlman leading, nursed along into the lead. They're closing. Kiprios now closing very quickly indeed. Going to challenge the leader. And Kiprios going up on the outside of Trawlman. And here comes Trushan into third place under Holly Doyle. They turn for home. And it's Kiprios that now pokes his nose in front from Trawlman. Trushan's got three or four lengths to make up. And making heavy weather of it is Kiprios that goes on from Trawlman. Then Trushan, Sweet William and Coltrane running up the hill towards the final first and a half. Kiprios, Trawlerman is trying to fight back. Maybe Kiprios is getting a bit tired. Trawlerman is rallying very gamely on the near side and rejoins Kiprios. They race up towards the line. A grueling, bitter struggle and Trawlerman goes on again under Frankie and Trawlerman will just win from Kiprios. They're off. Via Sestina gave a little jump leaving the stalls was going to be dropped in from a wide draw. Baybridge going forward with Royal Rhyme and then Point Lonsdale who's cajoled along on the inside and Mike Prospero coming through strongly in the blinkers 
for the first time. So quite a bit of competition for the early lead. Point Lonsdale around the inside of My Prospero, Royal Rhyme, and then two or three lengths to Bay Bridge. And they're followed by Horizon Door, who's a rather keen, the French challenger on the outside of Dubai Honor via Sestina, and Frankie's at the back on King of Steel. Heading right-handed at Swinley Bottom. And My Prospero just to the outside of Point Lonsdale. My Prospero leading under Tom Marcon. Point Lonsdale second. Royal Rhyme is third. Then Baybridge close up in fourth on the outside of Dubai Honor. Horizon Door settled a bit better now behind these, followed by King of Steel. And uh, they head up the hill in towards the final five furlong via Sestina, still towards the back with King of Steel. And maybe the pace just slowing down a little bit, sensibly so perhaps. My Prospero by a half length to Royal Rhyme. Point Lonsdale, Bay Bridge in a good position to try and double up from last year. Then Dubai Honor, Horizon Door via Sestina's on the outside in the pink sleeves. King of Steel and Frankie de Torre at the back of the field as they race on now towards the final three furlongs in the home turn. And it's My Prospero by length to Royal Rhyme. Baybridge going up into third on the outside of Point Lonsdale. Then Horizon Door via Sestina is circling the field from Dubai Honor. And King of Steel now being pushed along down the run towards the finish. And Royal Rhyme looming up on the outside of My Prospero. Here comes Horizon Door with via Sestina. Baybridge flattening out. Point Lonsdale. King of Steel is staying on from the back. Still got a bit to find though. And it's via Sestina, the mayor, who comes through to lead from. Horizon Door, King of Steel is trying to reach them inside the final furlong. Via Sestina, here comes King of Steel under Frankie Dodori on the near side. Via Sestina by a half length, he's a neck, he's a head, and King of Steel, he gets up to win! He wins the champion!